What is going on, everybody? It's your boy GS, and today you guys see the title. You're here for one reason. You're like, I need these finishing badges. I need them. I need to get them quick. What do I do? How do I do them? There's got to be somebody on YouTube with the glitch. Somebody. We're going to go on ahead and show you guys, in my opinion, the fastest, easiest way to go on ahead and get your finishing badges. Now, I made a 7 foot 1 shack build. If you guys missed the video, link to that should pop up on your screen somewhere around now. You click the top right corner, and you're going to see how to make this behemoth. He's unstoppable. He's a monster. Now, I'm only 16 out of 30 badges because I don't spend as much time on 2K as I would like. I'm a full-time Madden content creator. So I dabble in a little bit of 2K here and there. This is the first time ever I've started since the beginning. I usually play 2K at the end once Madden dies. But y'all can change that, though. These 2K views start doing well. We're going to be on 2K, I promise you. Now, there's a quote there somewhere along the lines of, I forgot who it was, some billionaire, someone who makes a lot more money than me. And they said, I'm... When I want something done quick, I'm going to find the laziest person I can because they are going to find a way to get it done quick. Now, I grind 2K. I enjoy it. So I play 12-minute quarters. I know you guys don't do that, but it's a nice break for me away from Madden. So I can take a nice break. I come. I play my 12-minute quarters. I honestly, I enjoy it because it's a different break away from Madden. But obviously, when you're grinding for badges, you do not want to play um, the hardest difficulty once my badges are complete. I always go to Hall of Fame always but while we're grinding you want to be on pro Quarter length up to you. You're probably gonna go minimum so you can just get them done quick me again I play 12 minute quarters because I come from Madden where the grind sucks. I actually enjoy this grind I can sit down relax play a game of 2k. I enjoy it. I play very little 2k but I enjoy it. Now, you may be like, why am I going to listen to someone who plays very little? Because I'm lazy. And I'm going to find a quick, efficient way to get things done. Now, in my opinion, one of the most important things you want to work for is getting your on-court coach badge. It just makes everything so much easier. In order to get this done, all you need to do is get 100 on your team chemistry this year they made it a lot easier where they ask questions at the end at least on current gen and um just always pick the bottom answer always 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 because that's going to help you with your team chemistry you want to get to 100 team chemistry as quick as possible because that gives you the on court badge now when you get your on court badge if you don't know if you have it or not you just go to your badges and you hit y for show personality traits and you see we have the alpha dog we have the expressive but this right here is key because with this badge, whenever you hit the A button, they will pass it to you every single time. Every single time. So this is why this is key. Because this is going to help you with your backdoor cuts when you're open. Because without it, you'll hit A. The teammate refuses to pass the ball. Like, why are you not managing 70 points a game? 70 points? How do you not pass it to me? They be hating. <laughs> but when you get it, as soon as you press A, they're going to give you the ball every single time. But let's say you don't have it, you're grinding toward. There's still a, a way easier way to go on ahead and get your finishing badges as quick as possible. And we're going to go on ahead and show you how. So we're going to go on ahead and jump straight into a game real quick. We're going to play our next game. We're going to play against the Bucks, And we're going to jump straight into the gameplay. And I'll show you guys what you need to do. All right. So there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. It's definitely a lot, lot easier as a true big, as a big, big man. Because what it is we're going to show you with the screens, you can go on ahead and just always take advantage of the smaller guy. If you got yourself a small forward or like a, a, a point guard or something like that, it may be, you know, tougher. But as a big man, this is because all I do, we make bigs, baby. We don't just make bigs. We make dominated bigs. To get them six foot eight guys the hell up out of here. Go back to my player build and put some weight on. He a little light. We dominant. We the big Aristotle to shack this, man. Okay, so whenever you are bringing the ball up, especially when after they make a basket, because that's when it gets the absolute easiest. Whenever they score, you can go on ahead and set a screen, and they're always going to switch the smaller guy on you. So we're just going to go on ahead. I don't always just let them score like this. I actually play defense. But we're just going to let them score so I can show you guys. So we're going to go straight to the opposite three-point line. We're just going to set a screen. When we inbounds it, you will see that the guard switches with the big man every single time. 
And when that happens, it's barbecue chicken season. We have a very small guy on us. We can get in the post. Now, again, this is a lot easier with the on-court coach badge because I can hit A and they're going to pass it to me every single time. Without it, when you don't have it, you want to hit Y. For whatever reason, you can spam A and sometimes they just don't pass it to you. But when you're in the post and you don't have on-court coach badge, if you hit Y, they're so much more responsive to a pass. They give you a little, little touch pass of a kiss. They give you a little sky pass, and um, you, you're way more likely to get the ball that way. Because trust me, when you hit A, they'll just ignore you. But whenever you press Y, they just give you the ball. I don't know what it is. So we're going to show you guys real quick. We're going to go to the top of the other three-point line. We're just going to set a screen here. And you see, look at that. Now the little guy is on us. You see that? Did you guys see that? Every single time. 100% of the time. It will always, always, always do that. We just come here. We just come straight to the to the top. Now, this is for when they score. When they score, you just come here. Sometimes it works on a fast break as well, but, you know, nowhere near as effective as when, whenever they score. You just set a pick right up here before, you know, before the inbounds even happens. You, you know, you just get down here, hold B as quick as you can, and then they switch every single time. Now, we have a feast trying to guard us we're going to get in position we're going to go on ahead we're going to back him down i don't give a damn about your double team because it's the shack this ah and that's going to work every single time we're going to go on ahead and drop step and it's with ease that's every single time now, obviously when you're finishing badges you want to try and get as many dunks as possible and also you want to try and get the team takeover with the team takeover all you're going to do is you're going to go on ahead and call yourself for a pick and roll and then you're going to give yourself as many alley-oops as possible we're actually going to show that um in a bit so like right here i just simple grab the ball we post in and someone in the shack video said how do you drop step you just want to hit x towards your back shoulder to go on ahead and get that spin animation so you see right here i'm backing them down we have the ball in our right hand our back shoulder is to the left, right? So I'm holding left on the left thumbstick. I'm just going to tap X. We're going to go on ahead and get ourselves a nice little drop step. And we're going to go on ahead and dunk on them. We do this to six, eight bigs too because <laughs> they think they're big until they meet the Shaktus. But this right here is all day, every day. I can go on ahead and easily get a badge and a half of progress every single game. Too easy. They can't stop it. Now we're going to show you guys what happens if they miss obviously if they make the ball you can do that 10 times out of 10 very easy they're gonna swap you got the little guy on you and you're gonna feast all day every day but on a miss obviously you know the defense doesn't reset itself you know it's a fast break situation so that um you know pick isn't really there all the time so we're gonna go on ahead and show you guys what we do on a miss we're gonna grab the rebound here so what it is i can just give the ball to the little and what it is i like to do is simply run like rim run run like a back door call for the ball now without the coach badge it's more difficult because they don't pass the ball all the time it's a little frustrating you'll be wide open on a back door but you just got to keep doing it until you get yourself the encore coach badge because again without it it's very frustrating um but work on getting that work on getting your team chemistry up and to get your team chemistry up you just want to pass the ball get some assists answer those questions get to 100 percent that way you get that badge but without it they'll still pass you the ball every now and then just not all the time but right here we're going to go on ahead and we give the ball it's a little we back door we just run around just like that and all day every day all you want to do just run a little circle run a little circle run a little rim run and just hope that they pass you the ball i'd say about 60 percent of the time to 70 percent they will when you don't have the coat the coach on court badge but um without it again they're gonna they're just not gonna pass the ball every single time but you're still gonna get the ball a good amount of time all it is i do is I just give the ball and then we just run a little, we just run around just like that. We just outrun them, run a little circle, outrun them, boom. We cut to the basket wide open all day, every day. And that right there is just all day. If you got yourself this build or big, big, you know, you're good. You're going to go on ahead and do this and we're easy bucket. So right here, whether they make or miss, we're going to show you guys one more time what you need to do to go on ahead and get your finishing badges up. 
Now, if I didn't play any Madden, and this is all I... Oh, my Lord. Giannis Antetokounmpo, calm down, sir. The hell? Man, dunking on me like I own child support. All right, so he's going to get the ball. We're just going to run all the way around here. We're going to... Oh, oh, he passed it right when I was calling for the ball. That right there gets frustrating, too. But we just cut to the basket right here all day, every day. Again, on pro... It's very easy. They rarely defend you. Just go to the three-point line. Either you run around or just cut straight to the basket, and you're going to have that with E. So right here, another miss. We're just going to run. You know, because I have the encore coach badge, I can call for the ball. We're going to pass the ball to the corner. We're going to cut, and easy. Boom. Just like that. Give the ball, cut, run around, and you're able to go on ahead and do that, and I can get that done all day, every day. Now... Of course, we're going to skip. I'm not going to show all this, but we're going to go on ahead and show you guys when we get team takeover, how we're able to go on ahead and maximize alley-oops so I can go on ahead and even get more finishing badges. So let's get straight into that. All right, so... I think I just, I'm, I'm going to speed up so you guys can take a look at me, how I'm getting my buckets. I'm setting picks after they score. Easy switch, call for the ball, drop step every single time. Easy buckets. The one time where um, I didn't do that, we just ran. We just do a little rim run. We just keep cutting until we're open. We call for the ball and get it. But now we have team takeover. And this right here is important because alley-oops are definitely big for your finishing badge points. So we're going to go on ahead and we're going to activate it. Now, this right here allows us to get our entire team active so we can control everybody. So what it is you want to do is you want to pass the ball to someone, preferably, you know, your point guard because he's going to be the most accurate at throwing out of the oops. Then you want to call yourself for a pick. Now, to do this, you hit left bumper, at least on Xbox, or I guess it's L1, R1 on, um, on PlayStation. But I'm going to hit left bumper, then I'm going to hit right bumper, then I'm going to hit my icon, and I'm going to hold it to call myself for a pick. So again, I'm going to hit left bumper, then right bumper, then I'm going to hold my icon so I can call for a pick. I'm going to roll, and then I should have an easy alley-oop for myself. So again, left bumper, right bumper, left trigger for the pick. We go around, and he didn't go around because I, I, didn't, I didn't get the pick. To the inside, here's onto Takumbo. That's the thing about Shaq. You know, he goofy. He's like, I didn't know. I didn't. My bad. I didn't, I didn't know I had to get the pick. I'm a misunderstanding. I just stood there for the pick. And you were supposed to run him into me. How about you get the damn pick, you goofy? All right, here we go. All right. Actually, did I say left bumper? No, it's right bumper. No, hold on. Let me see. No, no, no. It's right. Left bumper, right bumper, icon. Hold it. Bada boom, bada bing. Easy alley-oop. Boom. Just like that all day, every day. Except when Shaq wanted to go on ahead and not get the pick, you big goofy bastard. I didn't know, coach. I just stood there. I thought I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. The hell? I called you for a pick and roll. You just stood there. You didn't roll. <laughs> but again, I'll give it to my point guard. I will go on ahead, hit my icon. I'll set him up for a pick. Then I'll go on ahead and roll, which the CPU controlling your players should then roll to the basket, which he does. And for alley-oop, you're just going to double tap the Y button. And we got a very easy alley-oop. Now I can go on ahead and in a game, get about 10 of these a game or so. I can get team takeover about two to three times a game. And this is easy. Again, we get two. Now, obviously, there's once in a blue, I'll miss a dunk. So if you're going ahead and you get yourself... Um, the um the 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 the, the alley -oop badge man a <laughs> lob city finisher you're able to go on ahead and be you know uh, more successful but that's all day every day but again we'll just go look how we got the little guy on us now definitely such an easy easy way to grind your badges we're able to get our badges extremely effective drop stepping on everyone's soul just like that hopefully you guys enjoy get your big out there man you know what i'm i'm trying to lead the big movement the big men the true big men people in the comment section like hey yo gs if you guys don't know because you know i'm not really in the 2k community like that people you know call me gs which is short for golden sports but they be like you know mr golden sports bro i just someone just hit me up in the comment section today i just made this build i don't even have all my badges yet 
And I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. I'm dominating out there. Of course you are. Because everyone wants to be little. They want to be quick. But when they face the big Aristotle, when we bring out the diesel, we have them just completely thinking about their entire my player existence. Because they're too little. They're too small. They can't hold us. And we go out there and dominate. And to even be super more effective, we need our badges. And I can go on ahead and knock these badges out super quick, super effective. It's just I'm not on this game as much as I would like to be, but I'm only like a level seven out there. Um, when I play park and stuff like that, I played a little bit during times two rep, and again, it's just because I don't have the time because most of my time is dedicated to Madden. But you know, we're gonna get gameplay with the shack. I'm gonna dedicate some days so I can go out there and get some footage because there's a bunch of people asking, I want to see this guy out there in a the park. Like, I gotta see this in action. And don't worry, we we gonna be out. We're gonna be out there dominating. Just give me the ball. Move out the way, Shaq. Kobe, you know what it is I do. Get your badges. Go on ahead. Simple, easy. Set picks. Get wide open. Get the switch. Drop step every single time. On a miss, you just rim run when you get uh, team takeover. Pick and roll yourself. Get your alley oops out there, and you're going ahead and add, you know get yourself a, a badge. At least for me, when I say every single game, it's because I play two minute quarters. If you play five minute quarters, obviously that's less than half the time. So I figure I'll probably get a finishing badge every other game if I did five minute quarters, and um, which you know be quick, you know, because you're only playing you know four minutes a quarter. Maybe you'll play like the first five minutes. You're gonna play two minutes the second quarter things like that but uh, nonetheless get out there dominate get your badges and please make real bigs out there we got to go on ahead and goomba stomp these little ass these these little quote-unquote big men let's get them the hell up out of here it's your boy gs we're gonna go ahead and be signing i appreciate the love and support as always until next time peace this video is sponsored by the dailystakes.com the Daily Stakes provide you with the same analytics used by professional sports bettors to give you an edge over your competitors. Signing up will give you access to module projections, key stats, and much, much more to give you the advantage you need when making your bets. The Daily Stakes covers the NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and UFC. There are three current subscriptions available. The DailyStakes.com offer a $14.99 sports card membership, which allows you to unlock a league of your choice, plus the features mentioned previously. They also have an all sports plan. For only $29.99 a month, you unlock every league they cover, and also you get an option to have a personalized one-on-one -on -one session with their team to guide you through advanced bankroll management strategies, the daily stakes sports betting playbook, and other insider tips used in the industry. And that is available for only less than a dollar a day. And if you just want to get started and you want to give it a trial, they have a VIP all access trial package, which unlocks all the leagues for only $6.99 for seven day period trial. Now you may be saying to yourself, I can start betting like a pro and start winning money today. Where do I sign up? There is a link in the description. Make sure you guys use code GS20 for 20% off any available memberships. With well over 20 million people playing daily fantasy sports every single day, you do not want to head out there and put your money on the line with no type of advantage. Make sure you sign up to the dailystakes.com, get the information you need, start betting like a pro, and start winning money today.